Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm just gonna cut to the chase and just say I suck and I have a major problem. I already failed my no buy. I failed my no buy less than two weeks after I went on a no buy. Um, in my defense though, I got a $25 off a $75 purchase and I got like a random $90 like gift card rebate thing from AT&T, so. I did a little shopping. So I'm gonna share with you um, everything that I picked up. So if you've been watching my videos for the last month, you know that I have been in this like newfound love affair with Fenty and I have been wanting to try all the things since I finally actually tried some of the things. So I fell in love with my highlighter. It was like, it was the Kilowatt highlighter in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. Absolutely love it. It's the highlight that I'm wearing today. And I really wanted to try Mean Money and Hustla Baby. My friend Lauren messaged me on Instagram and said that one of the Sephora sets that had a full size Fenty highlighter in it was on sale. And I think it was like actually on sale for $2 less than what the full size highlighter is on its own. So I picked it up. I've got the highlighter out of the box right here but it was this Sephora favorite set. A lot of the favorite sets have gone on sale. I did notice that it was normally $48 and I want to say it was say it was on sale for like 32 or 34, but it did come with the full size Mean Money Hustle Baby, which is what I really wanted and I've already dug into this puppy big time. It's so pretty. I love how the Kilowatt highlighters, you get a subtle shade and a super intense shimmery shade. So this one is like peachy champagne and then my Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal is a more cool toned like silver pink highlighter or champagne pink highlighter. It's so, so pretty, but you get a lot of other really good things in here. But just a full size Anastasia brow gel, full size Nar NARS lip pencil a um, deluxe size sample of the Milk Makeup, one of the primers, um, roller lash, uh, what is it, eyeliner, all nighter setting spray, agave lip balm from Bite Beauty, a Laura Mercier caviar stick and metallic taupe, and then Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced. The Sephora favorite sets are really good. I don't purchase them very often, but because this was in it and it was on sale, I had to have it. Let's go ahead and stick with Fenty because I'm obsessed with these two things. I've literally become obsessed with that brand and it's so shocking to me that um, I waited so long to try this stuff. But the first thing is this Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. It's the foundation that I have on today. It is the only foundation that I've been wearing since I purchased this two weeks ago. And I can confidently say this is my absolute favorite everyday foundation. My skin loves this. I got it in the shade 185. I did the shade finder on Sephora's app and I'm sure it's online at Sephora on the regular website too. Depending on what foundation I used in my collection, I got kind of a different shade. So I just went in and swatched and this shade is perfect for me. I love this foundation so much this is what the bottle looks like it's a medium coverage super lightweight foundation it's the hydrating foundation and it's so amazing it's not overly hydrating to where it makes me super dewy throughout the day it is the best wearing and the best long wearing foundation that i have ever used on my skin my skin seriously loves this i Touch up once a day, um, which is pretty normal. Sometimes I have to touch up more than that, but I only have to touch up once a day with this. When I do touch up, my makeup doesn't break up. My concealer doesn't separate from my foundation. I have the biggest problem like right in here with um, like my foundation and my concealer eating away at each other the longer I wear certain foundations, but I do not have that problem with this foundation. This is like my new go-to everyday foundation. I still love my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush, but I'm definitely saving that for like nights out and special occasions, but on an everyday basis, this is amazing. I love it so, so much. Um, I didn't bother picking up the matte one just because I like a more hydrating formula. This is amazing. Um, the next Fenty Beauty item that I picked up is one of the bronzers, and she has a very good shade range in her bronzers. And the one that I picked up is in Shady Biz. It's the bronzer that I'm wearing today. This formula of bronzer is amazing. I've used it every day since I got it. So the Fenty Beauty, like the FB that was imprinted is no longer there. It is 
such a nice warm toned bronzer. She does have more cool toned shades depending on what shade you want. This was like the second or third darkest color in the bunch. The formula of this is not powdery at all. You get zero kickback whenever you apply or put your brush in the pan. It's such a nice, smooth, seamless bronzer. It gives my skin such a pretty warm glow. It goes on super even. It's not patchy at all. I love this. She's got a ton of different colors depending on what your skin tone is, what your undertone is, everything. So highly recommend those bronzers. They're great. I did pick up another bronzer. I've been going a little bronzer crazy lately. And this is a repurchase, but I'm not done and haven't even hit pan on the first one, I'm gonna explain. So I picked up another one of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzers in, what is this? I think it's Luminous Bronze Light. So this is what it looks like here. I purchased another one of these because if you're familiar with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzers, blushes, they are all marbleized. So some have more color, some have more ambient lighting powder color in them. And the luminous bronze light that I have was literally all brown. There was barely any of the ambient lighting color in it. So it was very warm, like pretty much orange. And I always had to be so careful with it. I always wanted to wear it, but it was just too intense for me. So I went into the store with my $25 off of a $75 purchase. And I opened the, um, the boxes to look at what the marbleization looked like. This was the first one that I opened and I was like, yes, that's perfect for me. It's got a little bit of the bronzer color and a lot of the ambient lighting powder in it. So I'm gonna show you the comparison. So this is the one that I already had. Do you see how much of the bronze is in there compared to the ambient lighting powder? So I'm gonna show them side by side. They're the same powder, luminous bronze light, but this one has more of the ambient lighting color this one has more of the bronze color. This was way too warm. I needed something with more of the light ambient lighting color in it to make it more wearable for me. I would suggest if you are going to buy one of the ambient lighting bronzers or the blushes, open up the box before you buy and open up the compact. Don't swatch it, don't touch it, nothing. Just open it up to see how much of the ambient lighting powder color is in there versus how much of the actual bronzer or blush color is so that you can pick the compact that you think would suit you better because even though they're this, the same color, they're all different because of the marbleization. So um, since I picked this one up, I have been wearing this on top of the Sunstalker bronzer and Shady Biz from Fenty. It's a beautiful combination. This is so much more wearable for me than the first compact that I bought. I've had this one for like two years, so I have used it a lot and I would not have repurchased this if I didn't have a gift card. So I'm glad I had that $25 off, but I love this. Such a good bronzer, so much more wearable for me since it does have more of that ambient lighting powder in it. Um, so yeah, that's a little tip for me. If you're gonna buy one of the Hourglass bronzers or blushes, open up the compact first, take a peek inside to see you know, cause some people may want more of the ambient lighting powder. Some people may want more of the blush or bronze color. So definitely do that so you can save a trip on returning. This next thing I purchased from Ulta during their Black Friday sale. It's the uh, Man Eater Mascara from Tarte. This was on sale for 10 bucks, which is why I bought it. I love the leopard packaging, super cute. So this mascara is not bad. It's not my favorite. I definitely have to wear multiple coats to get the desired look that I'm going for. It is the mascara that I'm wearing today. I love how separating it is. These brush heads are not my favorite. I don't really care for the silicone plastic brush heads. I like the natural bristle brushes more, but this wand is very good at lifting and separating. It's not as volumizing as I would like it to be, but I'm a mascara mixer anyways, and this does a great job of lifting, lengthening, and it does add volume. I just have to do like three at least three coats to make it nice and voluminous. This next product is a Tatcha product and I've always like sworn it off, said I was never gonna try it. I thought it was gonna be way too much for me and I was wrong, <laughs> I was wrong. This is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I finally tried it. I love the Dewy Skin Cream. I love the Deep Cleanse um, Cleanser. I love my Silk Canvas Primer. So I was walking around Sephora with my AT&T gift card, Visa gift card. And I was like, I'm gonna try this. 
I'm gonna try it. I bought it when I bought the Fenty foundation and the bronzer. And let me just say, best facial mist spray, setting spray I've ever used. The, the mist is so fine that you barely feel it. I do one, two, three sprays. Super fine, barely feel it. It is nothing like the uh, MAC Fix Plus. MAC Fix Plus I love, but it gives a lot per spray, and sometimes it can make me look way too dewy. This is the perfect amount of dew. The perfect amount of dew. I'm obsessed with this kind of annoyed that I bought it because now it's gonna be one of those things that I always have to have and it's not cheap, but it's amazing. If you like the dewy skin cream, if you like wearing facial sprays or setting sprays or things like that, you definitely gotta try this because I'm obsessed. Another one of those things that I just like swore off and was not gonna try, you know, or just put off trying and I ended up absolutely loving it. Could have been using it for so long, but I was stubborn and dumb and didn't try it. Just like with the Fenty products, and now I'm a huge Fenty fan, <sighs> I have problems. This next one is a Benefit brow pencil. It's the, precisely my brow pencil in 3.5. So I've used the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and the powder for forever. Um, I kind of, you know, go through phases of liking to use a brow pencil, a brow powder, um, a brow pomade kind of over the powder i'm kind of over the pomade and i've been using this it's what i have in my brows today and i love it it's a really nice color for me it is really easy to use it's a nice smooth easy pencil just really like it really like the way that it makes my brows look i repurchased the nars radiant creamy concealer i have been using the laura mercier flawless fusion concealer i love that concealer but i have been using it exclusively for a while and i was wanting to pick the nars radiant creamy concealer back up again mine is in the shade light to vanilla it's the concealer that i'm wearing today this one and the laura mercier one i get along great with um, this is different in formula and consistency than the laura mercier i would say this one definitely has more coverage a little bit more coverage than the laura mercier one does um, but i do really like this it wears really well under my eyes it brightens it conceals it's just I'm sure everybody has tried the Radiant Creamy Concealer before. It's like a cult favorite at this point. <laughs> Something new that I decided to try that's pretty on trend right now. A lot of people are talking about it. It's one of the Patrick Ta products. It's a lip product. It's the lip product that I'm wearing today. It is the Monochrome Moment Silky Lip Cream in the shade She's Sincere. The swatches on Sephora are very misleading. Just like the swatches that... Natasha Denona has up on the Sephora website are very misleading as well. The swatches for these lip creams are very misleading. They look very dark on the website, but they're not that dark in person. Like it's very, very misleading. So I would definitely swatch these in store in person. Um, but I really like this. It's like a warm, peachy nude color and it's not a liquid lipstick it's not a lip gloss it's kind of a mix between both it's very long wearing it wore great on me the other day um i've had it on for about an hour now and it's still really nice so if you have the charlotte tilbury lip glosses like i have the one in pillow talk it's kind of similar to that, but definitely more of a lipstick. It's not a matte liquid lip. It definitely stays glossy. It stays tacky, um, but it's not like super sticky, but it's tacky enough to where it's long wearing, if that makes any sense. I don't know, y'all. These next few things are kind of boring, but kind of not. I picked up a few more of these Sephora sheet masks. I love these. I love the rose, which is ultra moisturizing and brightening. I got two of those. And then I got two of the eye masks. Actually, I think I got three eye masks. I think I've already used one. But I got the lychee, the moisturizing and brightening eye masks. So I love using those. I love doubling up on those. I do need to do a product update 
and review video because I have been doing a lot of shopping this month and I feel like I've just been showing products left and right, not really talking that much about them. So I definitely need to do an update video of, of my recent purchases and give you guys some of my thoughts on products that have been really standouts for me, whether in a positive way or a negative way. So I definitely need to do that, but that is all of the things that I've purchased and I don't have plans to purchase anything else. I did put a few things, some family members and my hubby asked me what I wanted for Christmas, so I did give them a few things makeup wise. So if I get those for Christmas, I will share those after. But you won't be seeing any more hauls from me <sighs> until after Christmas, makeup wise anyways. Um, how long is this video? I think it's pretty long, so. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you don't judge me too harshly on my ridiculous makeup shopping this month, but it is Christmas and I've wanted to treat myself and had a couple gift cards. I don't need to give excuses or anything. I just like to shop and I have a problem. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas if I don't see you until then. Um, a lot of you have been asking me about the what I got my kids for Christmas video. I do want to do that video, but it's I feel like it's too late. Like it's already the 11th. I think I'm gonna upload this today too. I'm filming and uploading in one day. It's just, I shopped early this year, but shipping this year was horrendous. It took forever to get my stuff this year. And I think it's just because so many people shop online now instead of going into the stores. So, you know, UPS, FedEx, USPS is like super backed up. So it's been taking a long time to get my stuff. And I just now got like everything in. No, I lie. I have two more boxes of the kids stuff left to come in. But if you are still interested in me doing it and you don't mind that video going up next week, I know it doesn't give me very much time to shop, but just let me know. A lot of you are still asking me if I'm going to do that video. I, I'm not sure yet. So just let me know what you want me to do if you don't mind it going up next week and if that's not too late because I don't have time to film it this week. We're going out of town this weekend and I've got a lot to do, girls. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you didn't mind my little ramble here at the end. Um, let me know some of the new products you guys have picked up and been loving and I will see you guys again in my next video. Bye.